Unsolved 1995, the case of 64-year-old Sean Cotter. Sean Cotter was a victim of a violent assault on the 2nd of July 1991, but didn't die from his head injuries until 1995. However, because he died over a year after he was assaulted, the police couldn't charge anyone, and a verdict of unlawful killing was recorded. After the attack in 1991, he had been left in a vegetative state. He suffered from a fractured skull and had extensive internal bleeding after being assaulted at an address in St Mark's Rise, Hackney. After being treated at a hospital, he was later transferred to the British Home for Incurables in Crown Lane, Stratham, where he remained until he died on the 11th of December 1995. Two people that were suspected of killing him were initially charged with robbery. They said that they had met Sean Cotter in the street, saying that he was already injured at the time, and that they took him back to their home. They said that Sean Cotter told them that he didn't want an ambulance called. However, the police said that they disproved that fact, and said that they told a series of lies. The charges of robbery were dropped against the two people suspected of causing Sean Cotter's death, because they didn't have enough evidence to prove whether it was one or the other, or both of them that had done it. However, they were both convicted of conspiracy to pervert the course of justice and sentenced to five years each. At the inquest, the coroner said, Had Mr Cotter died within a year and a day, someone could have been charged over his killing. I think it is the law under debate at the moment. Mr Cotter was reduced to a vegetative state and he required total nursing care. He had a very poor quality of life. Sean Cotter had been a fit and healthy security officer at the time of the attack. It is not known whether charges were later considered following changes in the law that allowed for charges to be made beyond a year and a day, or whether there would have been enough evidence to show who caused his death, and his case remains unsolved to this day.